Hello everyone. So in this uh, video we're going to uh, practice uh, AC or small signal analysis for BJT based amplifiers. I'm going to practice on this specific circuit. So this is a single transistor amplifier and uh, let's first um, identify the configuration for this amplifier. So as you can see the input is connected to the base of the transistor and the output is connected to the uh, emitter so the terminal on the transistor that is uh, not connected to the input nor the output is the collector and that would be the common terminal for the transistor now um, with that we can actually start our DC analysis so I'm going to identify the nodes and in the DC analysis the capacitors are considered open circuit and uh, therefore anything beyond a CC1 to the left is not to be considered and anything beyond CC2 to the right uh, does not need to be considered. Uh, this is 9 volts and this would be minus 9 this would be our VE right here is our VB this current going in I'm going to call it IB the current here would be IC the current here IE I'm going to call this I1 and finally I2 and we're going to start writing an equation there are two KCLs. There is the KCL for the node VB. And that would be I1 is equal to I2 plus IB. And then there is the KCL for the transistor itself, which is IB plus IC is equal to IE. Now we're going to move on to equations for components. And again, we're going to remind ourselves that at this point we are doing DC analysis. Now, the equation for the transistor for the 10 kilo ohm resistor R1 would be I1 is equal to 9 minus VB divided by 10 and I'm going to write uh, all the resistors in kilo ohm and therefore all the currents are going to be calculated in milliamp for R2 I2 is equal to VB minus minus 9 which is plus 9 divided by 10 again for RE IE is equal to VE plus 9 divided by 0.5 it's 500 ohm or 0.5k and finally the equations for the transistor there are two equations assuming that the device is in the active region of operation and those two are IC equal to beta times IB and uh, finally VB minus VE is equal to 0.7 volts. Now the beta for this specific question is given as 180 and with that we can solve these set of equations and calculate all the current and voltages that are missing uh, to make sure we can count the number of unknowns so I1, I2, IB, IC and IE are the five unknown currents VB and VE are the two unknown voltages so total of seven unknowns and as you can count there's one two three four five six seven equations so if you enter this into um, uh, linear uh, equation system solver such as maxima that we have discussed you can actually calculate all the DC values for uh, all the unknowns in the system. 
I'm not going to do that at this point. I'll leave that to you. And now we're going to move on to do the AC analysis for the circuit. Okay, now to do the AC analysis, I'm going to start by uh, drawing the small signal model for the BJT transistor. So as opposed to what we did for the CMOS this time, the base is actually not an open circuit and instead there's actually a resistor in the base. <clears throat> in uh, between the collector and the emitter we have uh, the same way we, that we had for CMOS, we have a dependent current source and uh, assuming that the uh, question actually identifies uh, an early voltage then there might be an output resistance or not between the collector and the emitter port but for this specific question uh, early voltage is assumed to be infinity so this uh, or not value which actually is calculated as so I'm going to write it down here or not is early voltage divided by the DC current that we already calculated for the collector and if the early voltage is infinity then R0 is infinity or an open circuit so I'm not going to draw that here uh, then we have R pi and here GM V B E the base emitter voltage uh, now GM is equal to ICQ again the get the current that we can already calculated divided by the thermal voltage which is 0 0.20 0 0.026 or 26 millivolt and finally uh, R pi the resistor between the base and the emitter is beta times the thermal voltage divided by IC now given that we have already calculated I see and uh, we know what beta is we can actually calculate all these values for the model but I'm going to just leave them as parameters and move on to continue the analysis so I'm going to connect now all the other components to this model so in the base we have R1 and R2 and uh, the other end of both of those are connected to ground so this is R1 and R2 then we have uh, CC1 that uh, in AC analysis is assumed to be a short circuit and then finally the resistor RS Now, in the collector, this is directly connected to ground. All the DC voltages are short circuit. And in the emitter, we have RE. And then we also have uh, CC2 that is a short circuit now. And then finally, RL. Now we can start the uh, analyzing a circuit so this is our VS this we're going to call VB this is our actually this whole thing is our V out and everything else is obviously ground Now as for the currents, I'm going to call this IS. I'm going to assume that these two are actually one resistor and assume that there's one current actually passing through both. I'm going to call that I1. We call this one IB passing through R pi. I'm going to call this IE, this IL. Now, now before I start writing all the equations I'm going to define what VBE is so VBE 
is VP minus VE. VP uh, in this case is still VP and our VE, the emitter voltage, is actually V out. So VP minus V out. Now I can start writing all the equations. So I write the KCL for node VP. Uh, and that would be IS is equal to I1 plus IP. And then I'm going to write the KCL for node V not or V out. So IB plus GM times VP minus V out is equal to IE plus IL. We could have actually considered these two to be in parallel to each other and uh, do the same thing that we did there maybe that's uh it's actually not a bad idea to simplify all these equations well, regardless i'm going to keep it this way and move on equations for components so is is equal to vs minus vp divided by rs i1 is equal to vb minus 0 divided by r1 in parallel with r2 and then uh, ib is equal to vb minus v out divided by r pi I'm going to keep going here. IE is equal to V out divided by RE. And uh, IL is equal to V out divided by RL. So with all of this, now we can manipulate these equations and calculate uh, V out over VB or V out over VS. V out over VB would be the gain of the amplifier from this node right here to that node um, and V out over VS would be the overall gain. So I'm going to use our uh, calculator maxima to do this. Okay so we're going to choose the linear system solver. Uh, we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven equations. Uh, IS is equal to I1 plus IB. IB plus GM times V. B minus V out is equal to IE plus IL. IS is equal to VS minus V B divided by RS I1 is equal to VB divided by R1 in parallel with R2. I'm going to now do that. So that would be multiplied by uh, R1 plus R2 divided by R1 times R2. Then IB is equal to VB minus V out divided by R pi. IE is equal to V 
out divided by re and uh, il is equal to v out divided by r l now as uh, for variables we're going to define everything as a variable except for uh, vs in order to calculate v out over vs so is is a variable i1 is a variable ib is a variable ie il um, vs uh, vb v out they all are variables uh, actually i'm going to remove v out as i said so we have one two three four five six seven equations and one two three four five six seven unknowns everything is going to be now a function of v out there we go so we look for vs as a function of v out which would be let me find it right here this whole equation is uh, our game we have to factor v out and then the rest is our game so it looks um, quite complicated um, and it's because I've used all these as unknowns and uh, therefore the gain seemed to be a function of all these resistors in a circuit um, if I take R1 and R2 as one resistor and call it uh, say Ri and then these two as one resistor the equation for the gain would not be looking as complicated as what you see here um, nevertheless once you have these values uh, then the gain actually turns out to be a number as opposed to the equation uh, that you just saw so that won't be uh, too complex now uh, the next step is to calculate r i b and r out uh, if you're asked to calculate the input and output resistance of uh, the amplifier then you have to actually ignore the load and the input connected to the amplifier in order to calculate what those values are but here the question is actually asking to just calculate these resistors it's not the output uh, resistance of the amplifier or the input resistance of the amplifier these are the resistance in this specific circuit which is a slightly different question okay so uh, to calculate rib uh, we actually don't have to change anything in the circuit and we can use the equations that we already wrote here um, and the only thing that we have to change is our variables so if you notice uh, rib could be defined as the voltage uh, vb divided by the current ib that's by definition the resistance looking into this node or uh, the base uh, so it's a voltage divided by the current so all i need to do is to just go back to our maxima and uh, change our variables so we at this point wrote all the equations uh, as a function of v out 
so we're going to change that and write everything as a function of ib so now ib is going to be our variable and uh, v out I, ib is no longer going to be our variable but v out is going to be and what i'm looking for is uh, v b divided by ib so I'll repeat our calculations and uh, go back and look at the equation for v b and right here you can see v b divided by i b is all this expression and that is uh, actually our input resistance or resistance looking into the base now you can actually uh, simplify this equation if you want to um, if you notice uh, gmr pi is actually beta so beta times r e r l over r e plus r l that's actually beta times r e in parallel with r l and then that's added to just r pi because these two cancel out and then that's added to r e in parallel with uh, r l so if i want to write uh, the equation for uh, input resistance looking into the base that would be beta plus one times r e in parallel with r l plus r pi this is basically showing you the same equation um, so that's that now in order to do the output resistance that's a slightly different uh, because with the output resistance I actually have to uh, basically get rid of or turn off Vs uh, and then remove RL because we're looking back into uh, the amplifier so RL is not going to be considered put a test voltage right here and then look at the current that is going in so a bunch of these equations are going to be different I'm going to just change these equations on the fly and look for output resistly V out um, divided by the current I out so if that's ground uh, the KCL here is going to change this way there's going to be an IB this KCL is not going to change we're going to keep it the way it is um, here we're going to have IB plus GM times VB minus V out. I'm going to assume that V out is our test voltage, so I don't have to change that. But right here we have uh, actually we're going to change the uh, direction of the current and call this equation IL maybe this is going to get a bit uh, complex to follow so I'm going to remove this so this would be plus I out is equal to IE that's assuming that I'm removing RL uh, and putting my test voltage but I'm gonna call my test voltage V out so this is V out and I'm looking at the current I out going to that node and I'm also removing this and then directly connecting that to ground so now right here this equation is gonna change Vs is gone that would be 0 minus Vb uh, that's IS this equation is going to be the same I on IB is going to stay the same IE is going to stay the same but there won't be an RIL equation now what I'm looking for is V out divided by I out as for the output resistance so I'm going to go back to our maxima 
and uh, I can either change the equation so that I already wrote or just enter new equations either way so this time we have uh, six equations as opposed to the seven that we had before i s is equal to i1 plus i b i b plus g m times v b minus v out plus i out is equal to i e i s is equal to minus v b divided by r s i one is equal to v b times r one plus r two divided by r1 times r2 and uh, ib is equal to vb minus v out divided by r pi and finally ie is equal to v out divided by r e now to define variables i'm looking for v out over i out and um, therefore i out is my parameter and everything is else is uh, the variable so i s is a variable i one is a variable i b is a variable ie is a variable then v b is a variable v out is also a variable and uh, i'm looking for v out over i out should be everything and we look for the equation for v out right here as a function of i out so all of this right here divided by all of this is basically um our upper resistance which uh, looks again quite complicated um, but if you have numbers as opposed to parameters this is just going to be simply a number now again you can simplify this looking uh, into this you're going to see re in parallel but what's uh, given looking back into uh, the emitter of the transistor so re is going to be in parallel with 1 over gm looking into this current source and then it's going to be also in parallel with uh, r pi plus r1 in parallel with r2 in parallel with rs uh, all of which uh, are divided by beta plus one or gm r pi um, once you actually open up that equation that i just told you then you're going to get the same equation that you're looking at here so i'm going to go here and write these two results r i b ends up being r pi plus 
beta plus 1 times R E in parallel with R L and R out is equal to R E in parallel with R pi plus R s in parallel with R1 in parallel with R2 and this whole thing divided by beta plus 1. So looking into the base the resistance that you see in the emitter, which is RE in power with RL, is actually um, magnified by a factor equal to beta plus 1. Uh, but looking into the emitter um, back, you actually see everything that is in the base, which is R pi, and everything else uh, in series to that. Uh, reduced by a factor of beta plus one and this uh, effect is in BJT is called impedance uh, transformation uh, looking into the base uh, the impedance in the, in the emitter is actually transformed by beta plus one times and looking into the emitter the, everything in the base is transformed by um, uh, beta plus one times smaller so we're divided by beta plus one time um, I don't expect you to memorize these equations because if you have access to calculators you can always calculate any of these values just using the basic equations that we always use uh, thank you very much hopefully this has been uh, helpful